into it. More of the for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the green trunks and weighing in at 214 pounds even. Fighting out of the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, he brings a perfect record of 34 and 0 in 30 bouts, 30 victories by knockout. And he has held two WBO world titles. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the number one ranked heavyweight challenger in the world, Michael Moore! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks with black and gold trim. He also weighed in at 214 pounds even. This 1984 Olympic bronze medalist is now a three-time world title holder as a professional. He has a professional record of 30 victories with 22 KOs against only one defeat. And that only loss was turned around in this very same ring here at Caesars Palace six months ago, making him, once again, the heavyweight champion of the world from Atlanta, Georgia, Evander. the moment he entered the ring. His first time at this level. His trainer's first time at this level. Who do you think's more nervous? Teddy Atlas, his father passed away last October. This fight going out to his father tonight is Evander Holyfield in red, the heavyweight champion. Clearly the crowd favorite. Other fighters in the boxing world seeing Holyfield as the favorite tonight. Riddick Bowe said he's a more complete fighter. Remember, Moore is a southpaw. There's never been a southpaw as a heavyweight champion. Both corners played it down. Mostly because Moore is not a bobber and weaver. He go right at you. There's no fooling you. This is the first time in some time Holyfield has had the opportunity to fight a man his size. Riddick Bowe, Buster Douglas, George Foreman, all much bigger. 20, 30, 40 pounds bigger. Holyfield turned around. the body for the second time. Holyfield's lost the sweat he had coming into the ring. The anthem and introductions. Last six fights for Evander. Looking for the title or defending it. Moore landed a decent right. Moore a slow starter through his career. It's cost him on occasion. Well, not the ultimate cost, which is a loss. Right, watch the head. Watch, it. watch the head. Come on. 
punch out. Two hands are free, and then you got two hands free. Punch, get your hand off that neck, man. Come on, punch Rolls out. land talkative early. Remember, Moore has always fought righties. Evander's never fought a lefty. Or at least not regularly. Evander clubbing him with a left. Moore seems tight. Tighter than usual, and he's, a, again, a slow starter. Under 10 in the first remaining. Pushing at the end of round one. And Moore got through it. Flow. Nice, easy breathing. Doing that Vaseline. That's Don Turner. You're moving, you're jumping too much. Okay. Half steps. Okay. Half steps, man. You see everything, don't you? Yeah. to the side. Snap that jab. Do not He's start looking again. for one punch. <laughs> now, I don't want you throwing the left hand to the body from too far away. You're reaching in. You're going to start counting me. He's an experienced guy. Switch up. Fake it to the body. Throw it to the head. Switch on a guy like this. Now look for it. Keep snapping that jab. Round two begins. The champ in the red, the challenger in the green. Moore, 34 wins, 30 by knockout. Some suspect opponents. Bert Cooper, one of the big names. And it wasn't long ago that a guy named Bronco Billy Wright gave Moore troubles. To this point, Moore has been almost defensive in his approach. And Evander countered with a left uppercut that missed, but not badly. You wonder if Holyfield will at all get tempted to brawl because he's finally facing someone of even physical stature. Yet. That was a decent straight right. And now Moore chases him a little bit, gets a little wild. Evander knows to step away. He doesn't want to go toe to toe with him. Foreman said, George Foreman said before the fight, Moore is not a one punch knockout guy. He's a combination knockout guy. There's a big difference. Very few fighters possess one punch knockout power in the heavyweight division. Holyfield is not considered to be one of them. Moore pushes him off of the left. Don Turner, who trained Holyfield, and formerly Larry Holmes, downplayed the southpaw factor, but it's got to be a little different. Holyfield did train with lefties while in Houston, almost solely lefties, and why not? Evander does appear a little awkward out of the gate. Holyfield almost stepped into it. Moore is going after him. Michael's really going after him. Went from the head to the body. Evander covers up, takes some punishment. Less than 30 left in the second. Evander counters to the left of his own. And a right, and a left. Down goes Moore. Holyfield can't punch any harder than that. The challenger stunned, but not glassy-eyed. Holyfield landed an absolute bomb to end the round. And the crowd stands as one. Did was you pose that 
dropped your punch. The beginning was you. It was all you in that round, and then you stepped back straight. And you took the eye contact off him. Keep your concentration up. You hear me? You step straight back after you punch. Watch the knockdown again. That's earlier in the round, but more connected. He was even somewhat covered. Short right, followed by a quick left. And it was jarring. He went down quickly. Round three. Teddy Atlas telling Moore, you dominated the fight until the very end when you stepped straight back. Moore doesn't keep his eyes on anybody. And that's what Atlas complained about. During the pre-fight ceremonies, Moore looking down. Good left by Moore. High on the head of Holyfield. Those who picked Holyfield to win, and it was three quarters of the media, picked him to win middle to late. Few picked him early. Holyfield covering up well. His experience obvious early. Last round in the early portions, and a bit of trouble, covered up nicely. Got back into a groove. Holyfield pushed him back with a right. Holyfield almost seems more comfortable when Moore lunges toward him. Michael distances Holyfield with a straight right. More than halfway through the third. You can tell that Moore and his style are posing some minor problems for Holyfield. He's a little awkward. Get hand off that neck, Amanda. Come on. Get off that neck in there. Punch out. We got two hands free. Come on. Round three has 45 seconds left in it. Holyfield missed with the right. Moore missed with the left. Field combines work inside a stinging right the best punch he follows up Take off. Okay. Don't let him beat you to the punch and don't back straight up. Okay. Be easy breath. Look at that real easy. Oh. There you go. Let your mind relax. And let him swallow. I want you to use that jab and I want you to work off it. I don't want you to be satisfied with it. You hear me? You go in there and you start backing this guy up and you start doing what we trained to do. Otherwise, don't come back to this fucking corner. Do you hear me? Let's go. A very vocal. Teddy Atlas, not pleased with his fighter's performance thus far. Watch for a more aggressive Moore here in round four at Caesars Palace, the champ in red. One knockdown, that in the second by Holyfield. Moore got up quickly, 
It was toward the end of the round. They both beat on each other. Holyfield, quick combination. Standing parallel to the ropes. Mills Lane. Almost non-existent thus far. Fourth, more than halfway through. This has been a quiet round in comparison. Atlas screaming at Moore in between rounds. And either Moore not listening or waiting to make his move. Moore ducks in and to right to the ribs. Evander has only really lost his poise once in a fight, and it was the one he lost to Riddick Bow. Trying to brawl with him. He says he won't make the same mistake tonight. Holyfield's corner screaming out real deal with about 10 seconds remaining in each round. Obviously a sign for him. Moore goes a little low. More, more active. Holyfield, more reactive. You lost that round. Come on. Don't be giving him no round. There's nothing special about this guy. The time's right. What did you train for? Huh? You want just, yeah, to be heavyweight champ. Start doing it. Keep jabbing, hitting him with the jab. Don't let him back you up. Stay off those ropes. And when he's resting inside, slide back and hit him with combinations. All right? Give him the mouthpiece. Give him the mouthpiece, Mo. Comes out with a big left, follows with a right. Going to work on Holyfield, who covers up. Would love to wear him out. Evander thinks, and generally thinks this about all his opponents, he's in better condition. It's his fight once past the fifth. That's the round we're in. Two troubling rights to Holyfield. Push him away. We've had a knockout. Knocked down, excuse me, in the second. Vander out of a clinch with an uppercut. Minute gone in the fifth. People who have faced Holyfield say, say he punches harder than you think. Riddick Bowe and Foreman of Bowe said that. All right, one step back. One step back. Buster Douglas didn't, but didn't need to. <laughs> Holy 
feel again. More comfortable when Moore lunges toward him. Doing some counter work. A left upward cut by Moore and goes after him. If Vander covers up, he's in some trouble. Moore went low. Vander bounces out of it. Seems okay, but it did hurt him. Under a minute in the fifth. This could be a decoy. It has been in Evander's career. And he comes out flailing, maybe waiting for 30 seconds. Left in the round. And then comes firing in. Holyfield bleeding from the left eye. He doesn't want to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but perhaps feeling that Moore will run out of gas. Blood dripping in his left eye. It's hurting his vision. He's turning away from Moore. Holyfield have trouble, has trouble seeing right now. Moore going to work on him. 20 seconds left in this round. Moore, wild left that missed. Holyfield's blood now really spurting out. It's more of a cut that's developed. The headshot's affecting him. Vander trying to keep his right eye away from Moore. Rounds over, Moore won it. Almost started because of an elbow. Breath, easy breath. It happened in the latter portions of that round. That was the uppercut that pushed him a bit off balance. Soon after, we saw blood. Could have been when Holyfield bumped his shoulder or his forehead of more. Round six starts. Each round has been different in their own way. The champ in red. Moore has never lost, holding his own and then some. He has won the last two rounds. At this point, Holyfield, a round or two ahead. especially when you consider the knockdown. Holyfield almost acted like last round. He was waiting for Moore to tire himself out, and in the process, got hit with an uppercut. It backfired. Evander did look unusually slow walking into the ring, though he had built up a good sweat. Some I talked to before the fight said that he looked kind of tired. Halfway through round six. The bleeding begins. Moore doesn't throw punches, he's not going to expedite the bleeding, which is what he'd love to do. There came a point in the Holmes fight that the bleeding became so worrisome to the corner of Holyfield, they thought he may lose the fight. Overhand by Moore to an awkward Holyfield. Moore, much more relaxed now than in the early going, and it figures he would be. 
I think Moore has some sense that Holyfield's vision is troubling him. Redness around Evander's eyes. The jab working now. That was a tactic that Tommy Morrison used against Foreman when he was tired. Kind of running away. Evander just not looking like himself right now. Listen in. Okay, feel, Listen, you're going back. Put some, give me some water. Give me some water. Give me a rag. You gotta, you gotta start check marking the combination of the punches. How much time, Tim? Huh? Give him some water, Tim. Okay, let me put this on. Tim. I got this hey, control. Guys. I got this control. You understand? Hey, the Lord's with you, homie. The Lord's with you. Use your mind. Round seven. Holyfield controlled the early portions, more the last three rounds. Probably a fairly even fight to this point. The knockdown, the only difference. Giving Holyfield a slight advantage. Fans chanting for more, it inspires the champ who comes in with a barrage of punches. Moore answered, but Evander goes staggering in with a right and another. The most aggressive he has been in four rounds. Holyfield's vision becomes troublesome at the minute point, last couple of rounds. It started bleeding. Got to do his damage early. Field, keeping his hands down, almost taunting more, and he took two good shots. They're yelling for Evander to pick it up in his corner. If he loses this round, he's perhaps losing the fight. More than halfway through round seven. More bleeding on the side of Holyfield's left eye. A left by Holyfield, good punch. Moore in a corner, protecting himself. For a moment, batting practice for Evander. Mills Lane yanks him apart under 30 left. Evander at one point almost had his mouthpiece out, a sign he's breathing heavy. Never been a problem thus far with Moore. been out trained for a fight, but more at this point. Still fresh, still strong. You gotta 
punch, more in combinations, Vaseline. How much time, Tim? 20 seconds. Walk up and do nothing in front. Punch if he jumps in, don't lay in front. Work off the jab and fight a full round. Michael, do not come back if you don't have a piece there. Oh, peace, guys. Now, peace. I got it. Go. We were to hazard a guess. Holyfield perhaps leads by a round at four to three. As we move to the eighth, the challenger in green, Evander in red. Teddy Atlas screaming, a much more animated corner man than Don Turner. Turner has other priorities, namely covering the split by Holyfield's left eye. Moore had a solid shot to the ribs. Could hear it from here. Went a little low. Interesting fight. A lot of facets to it. The cut by Holyfield, knocked down by Evander in the second. Differing styles. Evander has just looked awkward at times. And then he has had brief spurts where he's taken command. round for both fighters thus far. They've gone intermittently with action. One frenetic round, then one they back off. This is as even a round as you could get. Neither fighter has done much at all. Each has the last 20 seconds to work with, perhaps grabbing the round. Moore could Saver a win in this round had he used the advantage of Holyfield against the ropes. Decent straight right there. The blood stopped until about 20 seconds to go for Holyfield. I'd like to listen to that corner right there. Huh? Do you? Do you want me to change places with you? Do you? Listen, this guy is finished. You know, it comes a time in a man's life. But he makes a decision. He makes a decision to just live, survive, or he wants to win. You're doing just enough to keep him off you and hope he leaves you alone. You're lying to yourself because you're gonna cry tomorrow. You're lying to yourself and I'd lie to you if I let you get away with that. You're gonna cry tomorrow because of that. Do you want to cry tomorrow? Huh? Then don't lie to yourself anymore. There's something wrong with this guy. Back him up and fight a full round. Okay. And after the right hook, throw the left uppercut. Inside, throw uppercut after someone's top. Let's go. You know what, Something to consider as we move to the ninth. Oftentimes in a fight, though the champion always has an advantage from the judges, blood will affect scoring. Oftentimes, judges see that for more than it perhaps is. Other times, they don't. Generally speaking, it's thought you have to beat 
the champion to take away his belt. Soundly beat him. Draw goes to the champ. Right now, we're pretty close to a, an even fight. That was almost a draw round. Some fans chanting Holy for Holyfield. Teddy Atlas made a comment in between rounds saying, this guy is shot, there's something wrong with him. And Evander just doesn't appear at times tonight to be himself. He's awkward, standoffish when he has a chance to move in. Very sporadic tonight. He has not been the consistent Evander Holyfield we know. He's just had lapses for rounds. Just about halfway through round nine at Caesars. This is the WBA IBF heavyweight championship of the world. Right combination. All three worked. The chant of Holy goes up again. Minimal bleeding from the champ. Who wears red tonight? Moore has not been very offensive-minded for three rounds. The champ backed him up briefly. Three rounds left. You got 12 minutes left. You're blowing it. You're blowing it. I'm telling you, you're blowing it. And you know what? You're gonna cry afterwards. You're gonna cry afterwards. Because it's all there for you. He's gonna lose his next fight instead of this fight. I just saw the scorecard. You got. You're right. Yeah, he's right there. He's checking it all the time. You know the Lord's with you. You know the Lord's with you. Use that defense. Use that defense. Use your defense. We got three. The rest of your life. Now go out there for nine minutes and take it to him and win the fight. Give him the mouthpiece, Mo. Mo, mouthpiece. Mo, the mouthpiece. Come on. Nine minutes. A little more aggressive last round, but Moore just has not been very conscious of his uh, offensive game in the last few rounds. He's really had three very mediocre, very soft rounds. He has not attacked at any time. He doesn't appear to be tired. Is there too much respect for Holyfield? He hasn't lunged much. There he did. Landing a covered left hand. Holyfield blocked most of it. Does it again, pushing off. They say he's stronger than the champ. A quick minute 10 has already lapsed here in the 10th. Trying to do it again and missed. Up, up, 
Evander still has more bounce. Moore lost that long ago. But Moore has never appeared to be breathing hard. It is perhaps warmer than both fighters thought it would be tonight, though it has cooled down considerably. Not a lot of action in the last three to four rounds. Holyfield has had a lead and perhaps maintained it. Under 45 left. The bleeding had stopped and starts again. That's when Moore can work that jab. This, like many Holyfield fights, working its way toward the end. Evander has never knocked out someone as champ. Two rounds left. Teddy Atlas continues to scream at the challenger. You got six minutes to become champion. Come on, work on that. Listen to me, Michael. Listen. You want to win this fight? You're not acting like it, goddammit. You told me you want your son to be proud of you. You're just surviving in there. You're just surviving in there. No, you're not, Michael. If you're wide, tell you you are. You are not doing the best. the back of my hand. Take a breathe. Take a breathe. You need to rest, move around. Jab and cross the left hand after you hit him with the jab. And when you hurt him, quit looking at him. Can you do that? Can you do that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Six minutes left for Michael Moore to make a run. Six minutes left for Evander Holyfield to hold on to his crown. The WBA and IBF heavyweight crown. Hart has always been one of Holyfield's great strengths. Bert Sugar, editor of Boxing Illustrated, said only Marciano has had the heart of Holyfield, who seems to draw great strength from within in times of need. He did against Bo, certainly. Manor counters off it. Moore landed a decent punch. Four and a half minutes left of fighting. Great fighters steal the round. Holyfield missed with the left, didn't there. Moore slips away and pushes him to the side. 
Under 30 left in the 11th. Evander, solid right, more counters. Evander bleeding heavily. 10 seconds left. Heavy bleeding, heaviest since the fifth. One round left. Michael, in your mind, you're doing your That's best. That's right, Michael. Have I ever lied to you? Michael, you're not doing your best. You're going to cry afterwards. He's, you're never going to have an opportunity again like this. You're throwing oh, jams and you're satisfied. Face, huh? You're satisfied just to do enough to keep him off you. You can't do that now. In this world, we can't do that all the time. Fight him, Mike. You want to win? Do you... The world's going to get you through it. You got to get out there, you got to get after it, baby. It's time to go to war. You can do it, Holyfield. You can do it. Jesus loves you. And you can do it. Don't let him rest. Okay. Fight the whole round. From our scoring, Moore needs a knockout. Holyfield leads by at least a round or two. But he hasn't been convincing since early in the fight. He knocks down the challenger. In the second, Moore comes out aggressively, already drawing blood. Another great right hand. Moore going for it. Teddy Atlas trying to pry this out of him earlier in the fight. A great right hand by Moore. Some of his best punches in the fight. Finally, here in the 12th, leans into a right and lands. All Moore thus far. Evander bleeding, holding on. Moore knows he needs a knockout. Atlas screamed at him since the sixth round to do this. He felt he was stronger. He could get away with some mistakes. But he hasn't taken any risks until now. Holyfield backs Moore into a corner. the best round since the second. Moore talking to him. Look at the blood out of Holyfield's eye.
should undoubtedly be a close decision. How important was the knockdown by the champion? Evander also has the advantage of being champion. There's a built-in advantage there. You will hear from both fighters after the decision. Teddy Atlas in Moore's corner certainly didn't believe that his fighter won. Not going into the 12th. That's the last we heard of him. Some booing Moore who stands on the ropes. Michael Buffer will announce the decision. Caesars Palace, we go to the scorecards. Dalby Shirley scores the bout. 114 to 114, he has it even. Chuck Jampa scores the bout. 116 to 112. And Jerry Roth scores it 115 to 114 for the winner by majority decision. And new heavyweight champion of the world, Michael.